This is the first time North Korea has publicly announced a new surface warship built to be able to launch strategic cruise missiles from the sea, the Amnok class. According to the Korean Central News Agency, on August 21st, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un inspected a strategic cruise missile launch drill. Accordingly, the missile launches are aimed at determining the combat function of the ship and the performance of the missile system and improving the combat capabilities of the crew. North Korea is building state-of-the-art warships for its navy, known by the unofficial foreign designation AMNOC. Currently, the fleet has two ships, and the third was recently displayed. These warships carry artillery, torpedoes, and missile weapons, allowing them to tackle a wide range of combat missions, including strategic combat missions. In 2015 to 2016, two previous unknown ships were spotted off North Korean berths for the first time. Based on their size and visible equipment, they were classified as corvettes or frigates. The first images of the most modern class of surface warships of KCNA have been released. The ship has an estimated displacement of about 2,000 tons. At first glance, the vessel features many of the attributes of a Martin warship. There is a serious effort to reduce radar cross-section as much as possible, and to add the most Martin weapons and sensors available in North Korea. The exact performance characteristics of the frigates are unknown. The length of such a ship is estimated at 77 to 80 meters, which makes it the largest in its class in the DPRK Navy. The ship's hull has traditional contours, giving high performance on the high seas. Used in conspicuous superstructure, coupled with the size of the hull and having a minimum of prominent elements. AMNOC has the necessary set of electronic weapons. On the mast, antennas of several radars are visible, navigation, target search and weapon control station, etc. In the underwater part of the hull, there should be a sonar system that ensures the use of anti-submarine weapons. Apparently, the ship has a modern digital combat information and control system that combines individual tools and components. Despite the limit size and displacement, the Amnok class patrol ships carry a fairly large set of weapons. On the deck in front of the superstructure, there is a main caliber of artillery, a pedestal installation with a large caliber gun, presumably 100 mm. At the corners of the front of the superstructure are two installations with 14.5mm machine guns. At the stern of the ship, on the deck and superstructure, there are two machine guns of the Russian AK-630 type. Behind the 100mm guns are four five-barrel anti-submarine bombers. According to some reports, the warship may have a pair of 533mm torpedo tubes in the hatches on the sides. However, the existence of such weapons has not yet been confirmed. On the aft part of the superstructure, there is a short-range anti-aircraft missile system using missiles of the serial FN-6 man pads. On the sides of the superstructure, there are large hatches with sliding covers, behind which are two quad launchers of tri missile systems. Earlier, it was reported that the Amnok ships can carry up to 8 KN 19 anti ship missiles, the Korean version of the Russian KH 35 product. In recent tests, 
the 661 watchdog launched a new type of cruise missile. It is assumed that this is a ship-based modification of the land-based Kvasa-2, capable of hitting stationary targets at ranges up to 2 km. Thus, the North Korean Amnok class frigates are quite modern ships and have fairly wide combat capabilities. Their strengths include the presence of various means of detection and a remarkable range of airborne weapons. With standard means, the ship can detect air, surface, or underwater targets and hit them. In addition, now there is the possibility of attacking remote ground targets. <laughs>